When the terrors of the galaxy come crawling from the darkest corners. When murderous pirates and savage thieves prey upon the weak. When you're caught in the crosshairs of galactic tyrants and hunted by the indigenous beasts of frontier planets. There's only one thing that stands between you and certain death. Space Knife! Sometimes, high-powered, long-range lethal projectiles just don't cut it. Actually, studies have shown that an armed assailant is actually at a disadvantage within 10 to 15 yards of a knife-wielding attacker. Well, most of the time. But if the space knife doesn't cut it, you need Space Hatchet! That's right, the weapons of the past still work in space. Why change something that's worked for 10,000 years? Who needs an Equinox when you've got a tiny one-handed axe? Thermal Katana? I say Cyber Junk. Gold-plated Gladiator Sword? We are not entertained. Lightsaber? Don't try it, Anakin. Both the Space Knife and Space Hatchet come complete with one sharp pointy end and a flat dull end for gripping. You serious? See included manual for further instructions. So when it comes to the final frontier, if you want to carve out your own place, choose the melee weapons of space. space, 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 space. I'm sure some of you must hate me by now. <laughs> but anyway, so I got to going back through the Starfield gameplay reveal trailer. And I noticed something kind of odd. Maybe the rest of you noticed it a little sooner than I did, or maybe thought of it before I did. I guess I just was so consumed with the gameplay and the guns in the trailer that I never really noticed that we didn't get that much attention to melee weapons. We didn't see many melee weapons. The, the player character never even had a melee weapon throughout the entire trailer. I thought that was kind of odd, so I started combing back through the trailer, looking for scenes where melee weapons were referenced, or other characters in the game had them and I did find those few moments maybe two or three throughout the trailer we'll look at those in a second and I only really came across moments where certain characters or NPCs had what appears to be either like a small one-handed hatchet or a knife <laughs> and so that was the inspiration for the video but I was a little surprised that there wasn't something a little more inventive Hey, what if I toss in a brand new item? The big kahuna sword! Going into the deal right now! Now, folks, this is the Hackmaster 5000. You know, Bethesda usually gets very creative with their melee weapons, uh, especially when you look at games like Skyrim and Fallout 4, for instance. But, uh, yeah, I guess I was kind of curious as to what kind of melee weapons they plan to put in this game, because the only thing we've seen so far is small sort of one-handed bladed weapons um, they look very um, similar I guess or, or practically the same as the kind of melee weapons that we have now uh, now whether or not there would be some special features to those or some additional technological advances there um, or maybe you know those are just the base melee weapons you know, I'm not trying to get all worked up and be like, oh, the melee weapons in Starfield are terrible. No, I mean, people in this time, especially in a more grounded, sort of realistic portrayal of, of a space adventure, would be sort of basic weapons, tools, you know what I'm saying? Mining, digging, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat type of stuff, military-style weapons, combat knives, you know, I mean, even Fallout had you know your basic combat knife kitchen knife kind of stuff but uh i just i guess i just got to thinking like i would like to see what other types of melee weapons are going to be in this game um i've had you know a few small chats with some of you in the comments about certain mods melee weapons things you'd like to see in the game and i guess i, I hope that they have some some pretty inventive stuff in the game because i mean we're talking 300 years in the future there would be some stuff that surprised us then <clears throat> there would be a lot of things in this time, I'm sure, that would be similar to what we have or would not have changed very much over time or evolved because it wouldn't be necessary. I mean, you know what I'm saying? A knife 10,000 years ago is a knife 300 years from now. But I would also like to see some, some new advances, some cool stuff. You know, something along the lines of like thermal weapons, electrical batons, 
you know, projectile weapons, like bladed projectile weapons, maybe, you know, Spetsnaz type stuff. I mean, who knows? The possibilities are really endless when it comes to melee weapons. Um, I know there's not going to be that much sort of wackiness to Starfield compared to uh, Fallout. I mean, that kind of is what sets that franchise apart in some ways. But you can definitely tell that Starfield, in, in a lot of ways, still retains that sort of classic Bethesda humor. That sort of depravity mixed with a little bit of wackiness and kind of irreverence. <clears throat> I do think they they don't need to get too caught up with this game uh, in trying to be like super realistic. Because I don't, I don't really think that we can say what's realistic and not 300 years from now. Especially when dealing with uh, some of the themes we've seen in the gameplay trailer and uh, extraterrestrial sort of artifacts and weird devices, you know, and, uh, you know, hyperspace drives that warp you through space. I mean, there's a lot of things that you could do within that environment, and I think they need to lean a little harder into the the kind of uh, fringe sci-fi elements that would really give this game that sort of dramatic, sort of uh, imaginative flair. Sci-fi doesn't have to be super unbelievable. I mean, the fiction of today is the non-fiction of tomorrow, right? Um, but yeah, I would definitely very soon like to see them sort of showcase some melee weapons of the game. I mean, we've got one little uh, category in the combat skills, uh, the skill tree breakdown, where it shows melee weapons, and, uh, the, the little icon that shows you the sort of melee weapon category of the skill tree. And then you've got one reference in the, uh, what is it, the traits or the backgrounds area of the game. Uh, where you can start where your melee weapons do more damage. I'm definitely convinced at this point though that starting out you're gonna have access to some very basic melee weapons whether it be just like a one-handed combat knife or a small hatchet or digging tool you know definitely a cutter um, which I do need to say that that gun that I wasn't sure what it was in the uh, gun guide to Starfield that that uh, other video that I did I think that's actually the cutter I'm pretty sure you can look at uh, the sort of icon representation of the cutter and then compare it to that gun and turns out that that wasn't some like unknown gun it was just the cutter that you have when you land on uh, Crete in the beginning of the game. I mean there's there's a way you could have melee weaponry have certain advancements or have evolved over the past 300 years to where it, it becomes more uh, practical you know and there's no telling what kind of new situations that people would be in in combat um, you know they could, they could make a sword, for instance, and call it like the Shipbreaker, and like it was just, its description would be like you know when you're raided or your ship's hijacked in the middle of space, you're in close quarters, you can't fire your weapon inside the hull of your ship, right? Um, because it will depressurize, and then you'll uh, you'll die, you'll run out of air, your ship will be destroyed. You know what I mean? The same reason why you can't fire a gun on an airplane, you know, but it's a lot worse in space. So yeah, I mean it's like I've, I'm in, I'm encouraged in close quarters in space in certain facilities or inside ships to use melee weapons so that I don't so I don't fire off these uh, high powered you know rifle rounds and, and energy blasts and laser rifles and stuff and damage the the ship you know so that to me would be the most immediate reasoning for coming up with some inventive melee weapons uh, and then of course you could choose to use them wherever you want and you could specialize in melee and just you know your jetpack would allow you to sort of bum rush people with some crazy energy sword or something so yeah that's just my thoughts on that I guess I'd like to hear what you guys think what sort of melee weapons that you would expect in this game from Bethesda knowing that it's supposed to be kind of more grounded and realistic but also that it's three years in the future you know and uh, uh, do you think they should have sort of showcased some some melee weapons or some more stuff like that in the gameplay trailer because I, I just I don't know I guess I just realized like wow you know they didn't really give us much in that regard so hopefully their next trailer or their next gameplay reveal or video they do, whatever that may be, will give us some insight into some melee stuff, you know? Because I know a lot of people out there like to do just strictly melee builds. And if the melee is lackluster in this game, that's going to be kind of disappointing on that front. Um, but knowing Bethesda, I'm sure that's not the case. They probably just don't have anything ready yet to show us or want to kind of hold back on revealing certain cool weapons and let that be a surprise when the game comes out. But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are on the melee weapons of Starfield down below in the comments. I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for the next Starfield video as we look forward to the future.